like to call this meeting, November 4th meeting of the Corsicana ISD Board of Trustees to order. This is a regularly scheduled workshop and all items that will be discussed have been duly posted. While this is a meeting in the public, it is not a meeting of the public. If you wish to speak, please register in the lobby for audience for guests and follow the instructions on the speaker form. The board's role is to set goals, approve personnel and budget, provide oversight, and we do one more thing, uh, make policy. Uh, we are not here to manage or solve individual problems. Management is the responsibility of the superintendent. As a board, we believe we must educate every child, give every child the greatest opportunity to learn, and to provide a safe and secure environment mentally, physically, emotionally, and academically. And these are our core values. We thank you for your interest in the students at CISD. So we do have a quorum. Uh, Kamar Chambers is not able to be here tonight. And so first uh, action or on our agenda is audience for guests. We, know we don't have any audience for guests. Next is our superintendent's report. Good evening, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the extra hour of sleep today. It's almost dark outside already. We will all get used to it, though, and have a great holiday season. We are only three weeks away from Thanksgiving. No one's counting, I promise. Um, I want to announce the November 18th board meeting will be held at CHS in the PAC Center. We are going to need the extra room to honor our CHS band that has advanced one step away from the state from state in marching band recently. Congratulations to Ricky Hinton, his staff, and the Corsicana Tiger Band. Varsity volleyball and cross country have concluded their seasons, and football plays its final game at home on Thursday. Yes. Thursday night versus Ennis. So hopefully we bring home that win and it's going to be senior night. So we would love to see everyone come out and honor our seniors in various organizations. CHS girls basketball starts tomorrow with a game at Caddo Mills and the boys start on Tuesday. If you love a fun breakfast, the Penguin Project is hosting a pancake breakfast Saturday in support of its December performance of Willy Wonka Jr. There are two opportunities to eat pancakes and candy, a true Wonka treat. Tickets are limited and can be found on the Penguin Project page on our website. Also this weekend at CHS, the tennis program is hosting a reunion for all former, former players, I think it's like 40 years, if I'm correct, uh, from 3 to 5 at the Commons. And after a couple of hours of mingling, they will spend the last hour hitting balls at the CHS tennis courts. Sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, C CHS junior Molly Gomez recently finished third nationally in the AgriScience Fair. So congratulations, Molly. At the same event, CHS Ag teacher Miranda Johnson was recognized as the honorary American degree recipient. Our Java Jungle Mobile Coffee Hut made its debut during the city's Boo on the Block Festival. Thank you to the Corsicana and Navarra County Chamber of Commerce for the official ribbon cutting, and thank you to the United Way of Navarra County for an awesome donation. Our Java Jungle is operated by students with different abilities and gives them a chance to work in the, have real world work experience. And lastly, we started shout outs on Friday and we have an overwhelming response. Uh, Raymond and I are receiving those and we are working on um, how we're going to get this out to everyone, either through social media or our, bo or our board meetings. Um, but it gives our community and staff an opportunity to recognize Corsicana ISD employees for shining. So we received over maybe around 30 over the weekend. So that was a lot. So we have a lot of shout outs coming on November 18th. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Howell. Next, we are going to move into closed session as permitted by Texas Governance Code Section 551.01. Okay, we're going to call this meeting back to order. Um, we have discussion and action items from closed session. And so... Madam President, I would like to nominate Kim Crowell as our next Child Nutrition Director. Okay, I have a motion to uh, approve Kim Prowl as our Child Nutrition Director. Do I have a second? A second. A second. We second. Okay. So I have a motion is second to approve Kim Prowl as our child nutrition director. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Welcome, Ms. Crowell, to Fort Kent ISD. All right. That is all right. That is all we have for this evening. So we are going to. Oh, okay. Sorry, that is not all we have. You don't want to do anyway. Well, I mean, it's, it's either now or never. Okay. Sorry. All right. So now we have uh, discussion action on um, innovative courses. Yes. Uh, good evening, Ms. Howell, Ms. Roman, distinguished members of the board. Uh, tonight, I wanted to present real quickly on innovative courses for the 24-25 school year. Um, you guys have it in your board book, but um, just real quickly that if we offer any type of innovative courses and those courses are listed um, on the list of improved innovative courses on TEA's website, but if we want to offer as a district any of those innovative courses, then those courses do have to be approved locally by the board. Um, I did go ahead and provide you on the left-hand side new courses that are offered at the high school and middle school for the 24-25 school year, just so that you guys know that there are some really good courses being offered at the high school, um, and these are new for this school year, high school, and then we have a column for middle school as well. On the right-hand side are the innovative courses that are being offered for this school year. Uh, two of those, the ones two that are starred, are new to this school year, the student leadership and the principles of exercise and wellness, one at the high school and then one at the middle school. And then the advanced video game programming course is carried over from previous year. And then uh, at the bottom, I did uh, note too that CISD has no courses on the list for retiring courses for the 25, uh, August 2025. Does anyone have any questions? All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Now we can move into closed session as permitted by Texas Governance Code Section 551.01. Thank you.